Hey everyone, I'm so excited for today's unboxing of the iPhone XR which just came out last week. So the iPhone XR starts at $750 for the 64GB option and I got the upgrade for the 128GB option which is um, for $799 which is still a pretty good value. So on top of the classic white and black colors, they also have red, blue, yellow and coral. But I opted for the black one. So now we're going to go ahead and open it up. Wow, so we're gonna lift up the case. It says designed by Apple California. And now we're gonna lift up the case. Oh my god. So this is the iPhone XR. Wow. Look inside the rest of the box. There's also a there's also a set of earphones that can connect to your iPhone XR, and as usual, there's a USB cable and an adapter. Okay. The edges around the phone are aluminum which is different than the stainless steel in the iPhone XS and XS Max. And the single lens looks like the iPhone 8, but on the screen side, you still get the full iPhone X series treatment. You see, there's no home button and you get an edge to edge screen. So now we're going to go ahead and power it up. Hello, swipe up to open. We're gonna go for English, United States. So we're going to wait a while for it to set up right now. So I just set up Face ID and I'm going to create a passcode as well. Okay, so I'm going to set up as a new iPhone, I'm sign in with my Apple ID. So I'm going to agree with terms and conditions. Hey Siri. 
Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. And this is the zoomed version. This is the standard version. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the standard version. Swipe up from the bottom edge at any time to go home. So this is the new iPhone XR. So as you can see, it has a large 6.1 LCD screen with a liquid retina display. And the screen resolution is a little lower than the iPhone XS and XS Max, but it's still super sharp and good quality when you use it. It also runs on the A12 Bionic chip with the next generation neural engine, just like the iPhone XS and XS Max, but the iPhone XR does have a little less RAM. So going to the camera, the iPhone XR has the same main camera, um, the 12 megapixel lens with the f1.8 aperture and optical image stabilization as that of the iPhone XS, but it can also shoot and it can also shoot in 4K with 60 frames per second video. However, one thing that it's lacking is in the portrait mode um, because of the tele because it lacks the telephoto lens, which affects the portrait mode. So for the portrait mode, as you can see, you can only do it when there's a person in the frame. So you can't really do portrait mode on objects and stuff. But nevertheless, it's still really good camera quality. So overall, I'd say some of the pros of the iPhone XR are the colorful designs you can choose from, it's excellent battery life, and it's strong camera. The biggest cons are that the portrait mode is limited to only people, and the screen resolution could arguably be higher. I think this phone is still a very excellent value. Thanks for watching.